Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, as you already know. This is your U.S. General, five-draw tool cart with side tray and deep compartment. Today is Thursday, as you can see. We just now making it back over to the storage unit, getting back to it, getting busy as always, all right? In the last few days, I have been MIA, I haven't been uploading um, anything to YouTube. My hands been kind of tired, unfortunately. I've been quite busy, but now I'm back to it, all right? Um, just a little while ago, I did receive quite a few things that I want to take a look at. So in today's segment, is going to be a little mixture of content between the stacking community, just as well as the tool discussion of the day, all right? But I ain't going to hold you up too much more longer in the introductory of things. But as I always state as usual, I always keep my signature lingering somewhere in the background. My Dunkin' Donuts coffee. You already know. Okay. So pretty much about to get some contents out to the top of the tool card. We're going to get a good visual on what just came in. And then once we're finished that, we're going to dive right into the tool discussion of the day. So walk with me. Let's get it. All right. Now that I got um, quite a few packages sitting at the top of the tool cart, before I get to opening these uh, real quick, just as a reminder um, to my good friend Occupant out there who actually won a free tool giveaway on um the heavy wrenches live stream okay i still didn't get the item out because unfortunately i've been a little tied up yesterday i did uh try to get out and have the item shipped out to you unfortunately it didn't dawn on me that yesterday was veterans day by the time i made it to the postal service okay so i'm gonna get that um item out to you just to you know give you a good idea that this is the item right here for you all right which is a snap on set Part number REX10B. This is a 10 piece screw extractor set. Okay. This is um, for occupant. He was supposed to receive this, um, you know, roughly about a week ago or a little bit over a week ago. All right. So I am going to get this out to you, occupant. I got it here for you. All right. So now we're going to dive into these packages. All right. And we're going to get right to it. All right, so just give me a quick second, and I'm going to get to start opening these up. All right, coming out of this first package, um, which you can see here, is your Mexican Silver Libertat. Okay, um, I did order quite a few of these uh, for different years. Fortunately, um, this is the first one that I received in... Um, a video that I think that I put in the past, I did receive a five ounce, okay, just as well as I did order um quite a few others. So this is your two ounce. This is a 2017.999 fine silver. Okay, you can get a um, clear shot of the thickness of the coin. Real quick, I want to get um out the five ounce to get a little size comparison so that you can take a look at that real quick scared it all right so now i have the five ounce out now which came from atmex and as you can see this is the the five ounce round as you can see five ounces all right 0.999 this is a 2019 uh you can see the thickness here on this particular coin all right and then the two ounce so that you can get a good comparison to the indifferentials of the size, all right? So I like this right here. This is a new addition to the stack. All right, so now I'm gonna move along to these next couple of packages. Let's get it. All right, coming out of this white envelope, all right? As you can see, these are your pimp one ounce silver bars swiss made okay these are 0.999s all right so just to give you you know good clear visual of that 
Um, when it comes to the pimps, I have um, gold bars and pimps. Um, when it comes to the silver, I want to add, uh, what is that, two uh, five gram bars and two hundred gram bars just as well as um, two ten ounce bars to the stack. I don't want to stack too many of them, but there are certain particular bars that I do want to collect and add to the stack. So this is just the beginning of that. Like I stated, I do actually have uh, gold pant bars. I'm about to step up um, some different size gold bars and pants just as well. All right. So let's move along to the next package. Let's get it. Okay, coming out of the next following package, as you can see, this is your one tenth ounce gold eagle. All right, this is already graded by NGC. This is a 2013 Eagle. As you can see, the grade is a MS-70. Okay, so just to give you, you know, a little quick visual to that. Um, as of lately, I have been um, adding quite a few um, gold units to my stack just as well. I have quite a few um, different units coming in um, sometimes by the end of this week, if not early uh beginning of next week and things like that of that nature okay so this is your one tenth ounce here and once again this is a 2013 eagle this is from your early releases all right ms70 okay so now we're going to move along into the tool discussion of the day. Going to get quite a few things out to the tool, top of the tool cart, and we're going to dive right in. So let's get it. All right, now i got quite a few items sitting at the top of the tool cart at the prior moment. I just randomly just pulled out my SAE um, quarter inch standard selection of sockets between chrome and impact just as well as i also pulled a 10 millimeter duralast set that i have demonstrated in quite a few videos in the past and there is a reason why i actually have that set out uh once again um within the set if you notice there is a socket that is missing from the rail which in the last um, previous video that I demonstrated this particular set, I actually happened to drop one of the sockets, which is an uh, impact um, semi-deep power socket. I dropped it somewhere along the back of the cart. But, you know, ever since that time, I haven't taken the time, you know, to move things in order to locate it and find it. But it's a good thing that it's just technically not on the rail at the prior moment because it will be, you know, in part of the discussion that I will have um, when it comes to demonstrating some of these sockets that I have sitting at the top of the tool cart. OK, just to give you a little quick brief rundown of what is basically sitting at the top of the tool cart, which is all quarter inch. All right. Um, and this is all standard ASAE sets. This is your deep, your semi deep. This is your shallow. OK. And as you can see right here is your low profile socket set, just as well as you have your deep and impact and shallow and impact. The part number for this particular item is 209 RF. All right. On. The shallow set, it is 110TMY. Okay, this is a 10 piece shallow socket set. What you're taking a look at here is your semi deep. The part number is 110TMSY. And the part number for the deep is 110STMY. Right, and this is your deep set and quarter inch. When it comes to the shallow and impact, the part number is 106 IM TM, and the deeps are 106 SIM TM, and this is a six piece deep impact socket set. Once again, this is all quarter inch, all right? You know, for those technicians um, just coming into the field and coming into the game, you know, if you 
happen to have a snap on dealer or fortunate enough to have one okay in some instances you know you would always want to do a little research to what type of work that you will be doing and what type of size measurements um that will be provided of you when it comes to performing certain services as far as which your position stands in all right um the reason why i actually have this 10 piece 10 millimeter socket set out as we all know this is a least inexpensive set there are other brands um other than duralast that provide sets like these such as call out uh gear wrench um sk but sk's uh sets are um quite expensive they come with a heavy premium um just as well as some of the competitive tool truck brands so you know this is at least an inexpensive set you can pick up the whole set for i think roughly about twenty dollars so that you're um you're basically only paying two dollars a socket all right testically compared to you know some of um the snap-ons and some of the tool truck brands you know because they can become quite expensive you know each socket will run you you know roughly about forty dollars a socket okay with all the snap-on sockets that you just see here in this quarter inch um drive size all right which is all standard um one two three four five six you see six sets sitting at the top of the tool card in one particular drive size um the price is roughly about 930 dollars okay for just these six sets and that's before taxes and shipping fees just in case you know you technically do not have a snap on dealing um you would have to purchase them from corporate or online site and things like that but you know if you have a dealer then you don't necessarily have to worry about shipping but you um would technically have to worry about um taxes um and my suggestion you know when taking a look at equipment like this you know i always tell individuals if you are going to buy you know two truck brands it's best that you try to locate certain particular bogo deals instead of having to pay for some of these sets individually because you know they can become you know quite expensive so that you know if you do or fortunate enough to run into a bogo deal you may be able to pick up the set for a reasonable price plus get something else in a different area that you may need that may save you you know a little less money in another particular area and things like that of that nature all right but you know when having you know a set like this like i was stating um the socket that is missing from this rail is a semi-deep magnetic power socket so what you're taking a look at here is a snap-on magnetic power socket Let's see if it'll focus in for you so as you can see this is a snap-on magnetic power socket okay so you know for the price of this one socket you can get two sets of this whole rail all right so just hypothetically speaking you know you was doing a job and you just happened to misplace so you know a 10 millimeter socket you know it's more beneficial you know to, and the best bang for your buck to have a, a, a less inexpensive set like this you know to replace that socket you know and help you get along through your job instead of you having to sit and wait around you know for the tool truck dealer to come you know in order to replace the socket or just hypothetically say the socket gets damaged um another thing that you know these sets are really good for is just in case hypothetically that you need to remodify a particular socket okay and you possibly may need to cut something down a set like this is very beneficial to also have you know it you know it becomes least inexpensive when you know you have to modify something like this testically comparing to modify you know a socket that may run you 40 40 dollars and up and you know some of these um sockets you know that's a cheap value at forty dollars when it comes to the tool truck brands because depending upon the drive size the prices do go up in these sockets you can run into sockets that are seventy five dollars a piece and things like that so you know this is just a couple of things that you want to keep in mind and like i said you know i do not suggest that you um try to purchase these sets individually if you can um find them in bogo deals and things like that you'll be better off you know trying to get them and obtain them like that in that nature
another thing to mention real quick, you know, about having, you know, a 10 millimeter socket set like this and, you know, how I'm showing you from deep to semi deep to shallow to a low profile in a set like this, they provide all the same measurements just as well as they also give you a universal. So, you know, with having something like this that technically does not come in any of these sets, okay, can be, you know, beneficial to you. And once again, you know, the whole rail is, you know, $20, so you're only paying $2 a socket when you start to think about, you know, getting um, Chrome Universals uh, from Snap-on. You're going to pay a little hefty premium, you know, just for the two whether um it's quarter inch and three eighth or i think it's three eighth and half inch drive sometimes i think they have a two set and uh three set i actually have one of the sets um in my storage at the moment i just can't remember whether it's a two or three piece set but you know like i stated you know it's beneficial to have a um inexpensive brand like this these are lifetime warranted okay just as well as most other equipment all equipment breaks depending upon, you know, how hard you are on your tools and things like that, all right? All right, so I'm about to end this video right about here. Today is Thursday, tomorrow's Friday. The weekend is almost here, all right? So I want everybody to enjoy the rest of the evening. Keep it a safe and a blessed one out there as always. And occupant, once again, I ain't forget you. I still got it coming to you. So, you know, just give me, you know, a little time, all right? I need to get my time freed up um, at an earlier hour so that I can make it down to, you know, the postal office at a reasonable time before they close. It's just unfortunately, I've been a little tired up and haven't been able to make it there during their um their operation hours and things like that all right so into that next tool review that next modification video that next tool haul right we're gonna check you later out there everybody keep it safe peace